Hey folks, uh, Jimmy Photon here once again with yet another issue of Stupid Battle Tricks brought to you by the one and only me. Okay, uh, today I'm doing a pedal that I didn't, well I built it, but I didn't actually like design it or mess with it or anything. This is a uh, something that's available from uh, Barry at GuitarPCB.com. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's uh, a Princeton Technologies 2399 delay. Uh, this was, uh, we could buy the PCB boards. And I just thought it was easier than like varrowing it. There's a lot of connections with, with some of those chips and I'm real, real, real lazy. But anyways, uh, it basically looks like this. You've got delay time, which goes up to about eh, maybe 600 milliseconds. Because of the kind of nature of the chip, it gets a little dirty, but it's very analog sounding. And then you got repeats. And of course, over here is the uh, mix. You know, how much effect to how much uh, dry signal. Uh, I'm putting this up specifically. Ordinarily, I wouldn't bother with something like this, but um, it's a nice sounding pedal. And my friend Tom Sanders here in Connecticut uh, had been bugging me. Where's the delay pedal video? Where's the delay pedal video? Here you go, Tom. One dirty bad delay pedal. Okay. As you can see, high tech as usual. Hand marked with Sharpies. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so uh, we'll turn the puppy on. Put all the knobs about halfway up. Well, first, of course, we'll see what the guitar sounds like without it. Okay, just straight up. I know people complain sometimes that I demo things without, like, a very clean amp, but, uh, frankly, uh, playing clean is for jazz guys, and I'm a rock and roller. Um, anyways, here's the, uh, here's the echo on with everything halfway up. There's no dirt, it's just, you know, I'm just showing just the echo itself. Alright, we're going to crank the, uh, the mix full blast. The way that this pedal is stock is, even with the mix full blast, uh, it's not uh, a lot louder than the guitar, just straight, okay? But the pedal, when you kick it in, is a little bit more than Unity gain. Which is something I should probably let Barry know about so that he can address that. Because for some people that might be an issue. For me, I don't really care. Okay? That's all the way up. Yeah, sounds good. Correct the delays. I mean, the uh, repeats up all the way. It's very much into Echoplex kind of territory. You know, for like if you're into like the uh, Steve Miller kind of thing, you know, or do it. Volume swells. easier with the fuzz on in front of it. Okay. Could turn the, the repeats down about half and the mix to about three quarters. And now I'm going to put it in the shortest delay time. And the mix 100% wet. Nice little double, right? We'll make just one slap. Take it into Elvis territory with about three slaps. A little bit more time. Right? Does a very analog sound of delay for a digital echo. 
guitars out of tune. Holy cow, boys play in tune anyway, so what am I worrying about? Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, echo all the way up now in terms of time. That's what you got. Turn the mix up some. As you can probably hear, I don't know if it'll even really translate that well because of like the compression with the video. But if you listen, you can actually hear it. It's kind of dirty at the maximum setting. Anything above about maybe about halfway up doesn't sound quite as clean. But it sounds so much like my Echoplex, which I have in the other room. One of these days, I'll do a demo with that thing, too. Um, the, I don't really care. It's a really nice sound and delay. Uh, probably about 35 40 bucks worth of parts, you know, including the circuit board. Uh, maybe less if you go to, like, Tata or something. I usually go to Mauser's, but... Um, nice sound and delay. Get some... Turn it down a little bit. Turn the speed down. And crank the uh, repeats. that cavern that creepy 50s science fiction movie kind of sound that's what the repeats all the way up on the deck pickup all the way up and the uh, repeats down. To me, it really does sound best about halfway up. It's a nice... Uh, Worthy addition to the pedal board because it's like if you run this before you run like a nice digital delay. I use a TC Electronics Nova delay uh, signed by Steve Morse that I won actually on Facebook of all things. Uh, it's what I use on my live board, although I have an Akai. Uh, what the hell were those things? Some kind of a Kai, a head rush. That was what it was. I have an Akai head rush too that I use once in a while, and of course the Echoplex. Uh, but if you use this thing here with the digital delay, wherever the hell it went, uh, you can get like uh, some really nice analog tones that sound very, very warm. I mean, I'll put a real short echo on, fairly hot, you know, hot mix with like a bit of repeat. Help if I turn it on, huh? Sorry, bit of a cold. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out. I mean, this can add a real nice analog flavor to your pedal board in addition to a digital delay. So anyways, uh, on Guitar PCB, it's called the D lay. D, I think, I think it's D apostrophe lay. Um, worth checking out. Uh, the PT2399 is a real nice sounding chip. But a caveat is in order also. Um, I would recommend not buying them on eBay as 
of the 20 or so that I bought there, uh, all but one was bad. They have a tendency to lock up and to uh, literally just kind of smoke by themselves sometimes. Uh, Tata Electronics has some good ones. Small Bear Electronics has some good ones. Um, just be careful. The thing with these chips, too, is that when you buy them, buy like five or six of them at least because they all work different. If it doesn't work in one circuit, it might work fine in the next, and there's really no way to tell until you actually plug it into something. Uh, the chip that's in here actually was in the double vision pedal that I was messing with a couple months ago. Uh, it didn't work well in there. I put it in this, it worked great. You know, a lot less noise because this pedal was actually motorboating, which is another problem with some of the 2399s out there. But anyways, uh, I've been babbling way too long. Hope you enjoy this episode of Stupid Pestle. Ugh, I can't even talk today, you know. I need a cup of coffee. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stupid Pedal Tricks. Uh, as always, you got your stupid pedal here. Woo! Today it's the uh, guitar P PCB delay. And you got your stupid guitar. Your stupid guitarist. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.